Hey guys, you Matt Aristotle here. Today we are going to look into the Godox BFP4 Flash, which is an optical projector dedicated for flash. This projector is dedicated for Bowen mount flash. Godox has designed four lenses for this projector. 85 as all around that, 150 for close-up, 65 for the background and there is a wider angle coming very soon with a 360 degrees of rotation what i will do i'll just make a shape first right make sure that shape is correct i'll just look at the shape i'll just start rotating around get the angle i want and that's it this whole 360 degree rotation thing just makes my life a way easier by saving lots of time So there's a color gel attachment unit, which allows you to attach color gels, then attach on the top of the lens. This color gel for BFP is also compatible with V1, 8100 Pro, or 8200 Pro with round head. So if you have this color gel already, then you don't have to purchase extra. If you turn on the modeling lights all the time, the light will generate lots of heat. The lens will absorb the heat easily. With heat protection, that's a bit safer and that saves you a bit of time because with older model without the heat protection, you need to wait until the lens to cool down before you are able to touch the lens. All the Godox lenses are razor sharp. And of course, you can decide how much blur you want by turning the focus ring. With the four leaves, it's going to be your most frequent used item and it creates lots of nice geometry shapes. In this case, I create this rectangle or diamond shape just posting the background. With the background, I use 65 millimeters, which is on the wider side, which is more convenient to project big areas in a relatively narrower space. If I add a green gel to match her dress, I blurred edge a tiny bit just to mimic how human eye works. When we focus on the model, and the background tends to blur a bit. With the close-up, I use 150 millimeters. It's the telescope lens, which helps to focus in a relevantly small area. I sharpen the edge a bit to create more visual interest in this case. But of course, it depends on your personal preference. With the last couple of shots, I add a quarter CTO gel. I feel like it suits Jennifer's skin tone better. Another thing is this projector also supports iris attachment with other brands on the market. In order to get different size of circles, you just have to purchase different gobos. In this one, you can have all the circles with one iris. I use two iris here, one to zoom out to cover her full body, second circle to flow around like a bubble, like her thoughts to create this more interestingness that everybody does with one circle. I tried the blue, red, yellow, the Monterey and kind of color palettes to just have some fun with the iris. One iris on the background and the second iris to focus on her eyes. 
So in the nature, I always like to mimic the natural lights, right? The nature is my inspiration. If I look at leaves over there, if you look at the shape of the leaves, it's way too much for sun to go through to cast any shadows. I pick up some little leaves from the tree and just put that in between the gobo holder. The projector will cast any shape between the gobo holders. What I do is just I randomly go around, find anything interesting, place that in between the gobo holder. Guys, the gobo is convenient, but be creative and create your own shapes.